Hi, my name is Oli and today we'll check this, the Ninjutsu Sora 4K. So, the next evolution of the Sora. The first Sora was a great gaming mouse with past then a very low weight of only 45 grams, which makes it one of the lightest mice on the market. Now, with this 4K version, it's not only a new dongle, there are many changes that make this Sora 4K better than the previous generation. In this video, we will cover all changes and check if it's worth to buy or worth to upgrade if you already have the Sora first generation. So, let's get started with a short unboxing. Short because there is not so much to say about it. Same nice box as the first generation. In the box we'll find of course the mouse in the color white, but it's also available in the color black and pink. The logo and scroll wheel rubber have a nice light grey color and then of course the 4K dongle. It looks nice in this blue transparent shell, the USB-C cable here, additional larger PTFE skates, out of the box the Sora has the four smaller skates and finally the manual. Regarding the specification, we have here the Sora 4K with a new MCU so that it makes 4000 Hz polling rates possible. You can change the polling rates in the software, the LED light of the dongle changes the color when you change the polling rates. The weight increased a bit now with 47 grams compared to the 45 grams with the previous generation. Other changes are the switches. The Sora 4K comes now with the optical home run switches. So let's do now a quick sound and quality check. The Omron optical switches feels very light compared to other optical switches like on Razer or Pulsar new mice and definitely lighter than the G Pro X Superlight 2 or OP1WE. It feels very reactive, but they have kind of a funny noise. Like a little bird is hiding inside and make a beep sound every time a press on the clicks. It's not so noticeable and doesn't affect the performance, but it sounds very funny. I open the mouse and it looks like the sound is coming directly from the optical Omron switches. For the rest, side buttons are good, just a bit of post travel and almost no pre travel. Scroll wheel is solid too, smooth with defined steps. The biggest improvement for me is the coating. One of the biggest negative points of the first generation has now been improved with a very smooth and grippy coating. It feels very premium and enjoyable to use. Also the skates feels to be improved and feels to be from a better quality. The glide feels very smooth. It still flex a bit on the side like the first generation but I have to press harder. But all in all the quality build is solid. Let's check now the shape. Here nothing has changed. We still have this mix between the Pulsar X2 for the front and Lamzo Atlantis for the rear. So a shape perfect for claw grip with this rear oriented back hump and larger side footprint to give a good support to your palm. While the side front of the mouse approach a more narrow design in order to have a more aggressive grip at the front. So to sum up, this Sora 4K is overall a nice upgrade from the first generation. Better technology with the 4000 Hz polling rates, improved coating and optical switches. So up to date like the competition. The optical switches implementation is good. However, the switches itself sound strange. But the function and feeling are great. With a price of 135 euros or 120 dollars, we are here in the same price range like a Pulsar X2 V2 with 4K dongle or Lamzo Atlantis 4K. But the Sora shine here with a very low weight of only 47 grams. In my opinion, if you already have the Sora, it's not recommended to upgrade unless it's very used. But if you are searching for a very light medium mouse with top specification with a correct price and a shape designed for claw grip user, then the Sora 4K can be a good choice. So that is for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If so, please drop a like and sub to the channel. If you want more infos, you can also follow me on Twitter or X where I post some news and what is coming next. Thanks for watching and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.